My name is Brett Seward, I'm the superintendent here at Grant Public Schools. There are many reasons that we're moving forward with this bond campaign. The biggest one is our students here at Grant Public Schools deserve it. We deserve to have the best, we deserve to have at least as good if not better uh, facilities and opportunities as every other student in the state of Michigan. One of the big ones uh, for this bond is the connecting building area between our primary center and our elementary school. We're looking to add a multi-purpose room with a connector hallway and this will make things much more safe and secure for our students and our teachers and staff members to go back and forth between those buildings each and every day. Another big component of our bond is the addition of an auxiliary gym right off of the competition gym at our middle school. As of right now, a lot of our students don't get home from practices until later in the evening, sometimes after nine o'clock. This is really compounded on days when we have home athletic events and there's only one functional gymnasium available in the entire district. Well, the gym, I know like when it rains for tennis, we all try to go into the high school gym and then softball wants it too. And then there's like volleyball down there. So it's really hard to like all get in at the same time and have enough time to practice. So I think like another gym would really benefit athletes. An extra gym, so you have more hoops. And even, it's a small community, but there's still a ton of sports going on all the time. So you always have your middle schoolers and your high schoolers, even your elementary schoolers. And we only have two gyms, so we can't fit everybody in there. So you have freshmen, JV, varsity, boys and girls. So that's six teams just for the high school. And then you have all the other grades, boys and girls. So fitting everybody in the gym doesn't really work out. And then some young kids end up staying late, but the older kids can't stay late because they have homework and they have to get ready for like the next day of school. Another issue we're trying to attack with this bond is the infrastructure of all of our buildings. Right now our maintenance department has done a fantastic job of keeping things up to date and working, but just about every one of our buildings, the main infrastructure is at least 20 years old, if not decades old. Um, one of the big things that is important to our staff and students is the climate in the buildings. There's days where it gets exceptionally warm in a lot of the buildings and this impacts the ability for our students to learn to their fullest potential. And there's also days where we're not exactly sure if our heat is going to be working correctly during the winter months and this also impacts our students' ability to learn. There's, in like sixth grade, I remember it got really hot and a lot of kids just didn't come to school. When it got hot, like their parents didn't send them because they said it was like not hard for them to learn. Yeah, it got really hot. It got really hot, mm -hmm. yeah. And that's, and that's something that we're hoping we can fix with the bond would be to get air conditioning in yeah. all the buildings and that makes a big difference. So, uh, does that, do you feel like that impacted your ability to learn a little bit or? Yeah, because like it was so hot, like you, just kind of focused on the temperature instead of like looking at the clock and watching the temperature rise. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> that was the thing instead yeah. of working on math. Or, yeah, like when you come uh -huh. in the room, you look at it and see, and then as it rises, you just look and look at everyone else around mm -hmm. looking at it. And like everyone's windows are open, like they have three fans in their rooms or something. Yeah, everyone's always talking about concussion with football, and I feel like. Uh, What's worse than the concussion is going to football practice after hearing, you know, after sitting in a super hot classroom, you sit there, it's almost like, you know, Charlie Brown's teacher at that point, because all you can think about is the heat. And um, some rooms are worse than others, that's for sure. Like the interior rooms are usually a little bit cooler because they have it already. But um, I think it's harder to focus and sit. like. A lot of teachers yell at people for getting up and, you know, some people just want to get up and take a lap around the classroom because they just got to get out of their seat. And I feel like it'd be easier to stay seated if they weren't sitting there and you don't sweat and you got sweat dripping down your back while you're trying to do your work. Together, we can enrich our students' experiences here at Grant Public Schools every single day. We can make our classrooms stronger, we can make them safer, we can make our extracurricular programs stronger, and we can always ensure that Grant Public Schools is the best place for all of our students. Honestly, it's every time I try to tell somebody to, uh, you know, get into theater because that's that's honestly where I found my love of education and blending it into that. Um, I just I say honestly, you guys, we all start out as like a bunch of strangers, and then by the end of it, we're all family. And so I feel like making those personal connections and then having someone to go and talk to 
that's that's a really big difference between just going to school and then you know having like the full experience. About school, what do you like about school? Subjects, well, things, anything you can. Think my of. favorite subject is reading. My favorite part of school is recess, and uh, my favorite teacher is Siri Dennis. Okay, what do you like about reading? So, um, I like. Because it's like just like a quiet time, and I really like just to read books. Um, since I like to draw, um, last year my teacher thought that I was really good at it, so she gave me six books on how to draw books. She did. Well, what kind of and, and again, you like to draw animals? It sounds like. What's the best animal you can draw? Rabbits. Ooh, those are tricky. For me, it's reading because they hold me. And if we're stuck in something, we reread it again. And so until we get it right. So you until you understand it. Yes. Tell me what you like most about school. What are your favorite things? Writing. Why do you like writing? Because I write stories a lot. And I like writing about Oh, so you're a tennis player or a fan? I'm a tennis player, so I'm good. That's a great thing. Posting, like I'll post quotes and stuff that I just think of to get stuff off my mind. Uh, like I've posted stuff about empathy and all that other stuff on my story on like Snapchat and stuff. And that just, I've gotten so many replies on how like, they, that helped me through the day or uh, thank you. I really appreciated that. I really needed that. Like, I need to be inspired by something, and you're really inspiring me. And honestly, th them saying that just inspires me to do it more. Yeah, absolutely. And that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, well, as the principal of Grant High School, I, I think that the bond is really going to be fantastic for our kids because our kids notice what we do as adults, and they notice what our buildings look like and the feel that they have. Just this year, our maintenance did a great job with our building of getting our floors a little bit brighter, painting our hallways and adding different lights. And right away, our kids realize that something is different about our building. It gives them a better feel for them walking into our buildings and what our adults have done for them. I look forward to the opportunity where our kids are in the classrooms where on cold days, the heating is just right, and on hot days, the coolness is just right because that adds a lot to what happens in the classroom as well. I look forward to the opportunity where our kitchens are operating uh, within the building here. I look forward to the opportunity where our kids are, are back home at night, working on their homework, working on their studies, able to be at home at a decent hour because right now we have a lot of activities that run into the evenings and kids aren't getting home until late. And then our younger kids are getting home uh, even later than that. I think it's so important the safety of our kids and, and what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Here at the high school and all of our buildings, we have the, the locking out of visitors where they have to hit the buzzer. But in some of our buildings, like the elementary and PC, it's set up a, a little bit differently and uh, they still have the locking mechanisms, but it's gonna be important to change it so that we have more safety involved for, for our students. I think I'm most just excited about seeing how we come together as a community for our kids. Because as I said, our kids notice what we do for them in our buildings, they, they notice what we do for them just in general. So I think that that's what I'm most excited about is seeing our community rally around our kids, rally around education and what we do at Grant Public Schools.